So in this video, we are going to already we have seen the previous video about the hashing uh, techniques. That is, what is meant by hashing? What is a hash table? All those things we have seen. Now in this uh, under the methods they are used for generating the keys. Now in this uh, video, we are going to see the uh, some of the disadvantage of the hashing and how you can rectify that uh, disadvantage. So the main problem which arises in hashing is collision. Already we have seen what do you mean by collision. When a key is generated, then it will find its place in the array. Then when another key is generated, which has the same key, then it try to uh, fight for the same place. In that case, we will place in, in the next space. But if we keep doing so, then there will be no uh, matching between the key and the place where you have stood. So, for example, uh, so we will see that later, but we will see the definition of the collision. Since the hash function gets us a small number for a big key, there is possibility that two keys result in the same value. So, for example, if you are going to generate a value for, uh, let us take from 0 to 9 array, okay, only 10 values. Now, I am going to store 78 means 78 more 10, it will generate the key 8. So, you will be storing in the location 8, the value 78. Now, 98 is coming. Now, what you will do? 98 more 10, again, it generates the key 8. So, now, already in the place 8 place, there is a data store. Now, where this will be stored? So, then the next immediate space, well, if there is a space, you will be storing. So, but this is what the meaning of this. The possibility that two keys result in the same value. Both 8. The situation where a newly inserted key maps to an already occupied slot in hash table is called collision and must be handled using some collision handling technique. So the, these are the following two ways in which you can handle the collisions. Open addressing and chaining. In open addressing, all elements are stored in the hash table itself. So, each table entry contains either a record or an L. When searching for an element, we only we one by one examine the table slots until the desired element is found or it, it is clear that the element is not in the table. Another method is chaining. We will see what is the uh, thing about this open addressing in the next uh, PPT. Chaining. The idea is to make each cell of the hash table point to linked list. Here we are going to use the linked list to store the data. Now we will be seeing what is this open addressing and chain. In open addressing, all elements are stored in the hash table itself. So at any point, size of the table must be greater than or equal to the total number of keys. So uh, three main uh, techniques are there in uh, open addressing. We will see one by one. The one is linear probing, quadratic probing and finally there is chaining. Chaining is the linked list. Now, these two are the open addressing way. So, now we will see what is the open addressing. So, here in open linear probing, linear probing, what you do is, so for example, we have the key 56, 64, 36 and 71. Now, you are going to generate a hash function. So, hash function, can, let us say this is the formula which you are using for generating the hash address. That is key. This is the key divided by table size. Here, if you take table size is 10. So, when you mod, 56 mod 10 is 6. So, in the place of 6, you will be storing 56. 64 mod 10 is 4. So, here you will be storing. Then, 36 mod 10 is 6. So, at the place 6, already you have 56. 56 is already stored. Now, again it generates 6. That is the same key. So, how you will be storing? The next location is free. So, there you will be storing. In 7, you will be storing 36. Then 71. So, mod 1. So, here in the place of 1, you will be storing 71. The All the other places are, uh, no, that is, they are all empty. Still, so far, not, they are not placed. But here, the problem is, say, for example, another value is coming, 46. Again, that also will generate 6. So, first you will check, it is already filled. Then you will check, 
the next value is also already filled so you will go for next so in this case if you keep on doing like this suppose many uh, case they try to hash to the same location and in the next next available locations they are stored then searching becomes very tedious because the first element if you are going to store 56 then you can find it but when you are going to store 36 or 46 then you have to search in the next 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 bit there it becomes again a linear probing that's why the name called linear probing it is very easy and simple method to resolve or to handle the collision in this collision can be solved by placing the second record linearly down so in the linearly you are going you are uh, putting it in the next next location whenever the empty place is formed in this method there is a problem of clustering so what do you mean by clustering many uh, data try to form so which means at the say at the some place block of data is formed in the so, so for example here here there may be no filling up but here here and all so there is a cluster is formed let us consider a hash table of size 10 and hash function that is what whatever i have explained now so this is a problem and this is called collision and how we are handling is we are trying to place it in the next next available memory location but it has its own disadvantage as i said when you are going to search for say for example 46 is that i'm going to search for 46 means the hash address generated is six so first it will search here which is not present so the next location it will find a match no then here suppose 46 is stored here here it will find a match and it will give here i'm easy only 10 elements are there and i am giving you the answer within the third search you will get the answer but imagine when you have thousand elements and it, the data is stored then and there then again it will become searching from zero to thousand that is each and every element you you have to uh, find the match and uh, check the check it and then give the answer whether it is match is found or not so this is called, it's called linear probing and then let us consider another example let us consider here 50 776 85 92 73 and 101 first the list is empty 0 to 6 let us consider 0 to 6 that is 7 elements 7 the array uh, length of the array is 7 now 50 so you have to divide what is the uh, size of the table you have to divide the uh, key with that so 50 mod so if you take 50 mod 7 is 49 which is nothing but the remainder is 1 so you have to store it 50 here in 1 same way 700 mod 7 is 100 which is the remainder is 0 so in the remainder only you will be storing so here 700 will find its place here then 76 mod 7 which is nothing but 10 the remainder is 6 so in the place of 6 you will be storing 76 then 85 mod 7 is 12 and 1 so 1 is the remainder so there you will be storing the value the one you will be storing 85 but already here you have to store it in 85 here because it generates one already you have stored 50 so you will be finding the next place that is what linear probing you will find the immediate uh, uh, empty space and you try to store the 12 so now 85 is placed in 2 then 92 mod 7 the next data 30 again it is 1 so what will we do here you check it it is already filled then you check the next place that is also already filled so now you place it in the next location now it comes 973 mod 7 which is nothing but 3 now when you this hash generate that it has to be placed here but already data is there so what it will do it will not find its place the next uh, location only it will be stored so if you that see you can find the mismatch so then so 101 mod 7 again it generates 3 so in the next uh, space mem empty memory location you will be storing this 101 and so on so this is said to be collision when a key is generated say this is a one key this is another key this is kind of, all are having the same key they are trying to uh, get the same place but in want of space they will occupy the next next memory location next available memory location this is said to be the uh, collision and we are managing the collision by allocating it in the next memory location but this gives some problem what is it suppose i want to search for 101 101 generates 3 so where again for searching also you will do the same operation that is hashing you will find the hash function so when you divide 101 by 7 you will be mod 7 you get 
three as the key location. But when you go there, it is not. The match is not found. Then you go the next location, it is match is not found. Then you go there. So at a third search only, you will be getting. This is again when there is a small number of elements. This may be easy. But when you when the array keeps growing, this will become a difficult task. This is about the linear probing.